Welcome to Silver Series Secrets, the video tutorial series that helps you use Silver Series operator interface terminals with other Watlow products. In this installment, you will learn how to connect EasyZone controllers to the OIT via a 485 network, set up EasyZone products for Modbus RTU communications, create a new Silver Series project, configure the Modbus RTU master communications driver, and address data in EasyZone products. We'll be using a Silver Series OIT powered by a DC power supply, two EasyZone RM controller modules, each with the Modbus RTU communications option, a laptop computer with EasyWare 5000 and EasyZone configurator software installed, and a USB to 485 converter and communications cables. A Silver Series OIT may be connected directly to one EasyZone controller using the cable available from Watlow, and from there to additional controllers daisy chaining them together with shielded twisted pair communications cable. When connecting to an EasyZone RM system that consists of more than one module connected together at their backplane connectors, connect the 485 network to only one module. The backplane connects the network to the other modules for you. Connect the DB9 end of the OIT communications cable available from Watlow to the COM1485 connector on the OIT. Connect the wires at the other end of the cable to the screw terminals at the bottom of the first RM control module. Connect the white with brown stripe wire to the terminal labeled CA, the blue wire to CC, and the brown wire to CB. Let's also make a connection from the PC to the other RM in the system. If you have the USB to 485 converter available from Watlow, use one pair of wires in a shielded twisted pair communications cable to connect CA on the RM controller to either of the A terminals on the converter and CB on the RM to either of the B terminals on the converter. Using a wire from a second pair, connect CC to ground. We'll use this connection to configure the EasyZone RMs with EasyZone Configurator software. You can also use this connection for online simulation when developing screens with EasyWare 5000. Lastly, we'll connect the PC to the OIT so we can program it. In this case, we'll use a USB cable. With some OITs, you may use an Ethernet connection for programming. There are three important things to note about this network. Though each RM module has its own screw terminals for communications, a group of modules connected together at the backplane share one communications port. So the PC, the OIT, and the control modules connected this way are all on one 485 network. All the modules connected together at their backplanes must be set for the same communications protocol. We'll start with all the modules set to standard bus so that we can configure them with EasyZone Configurator software. While we do that, we'll leave the OIT powered off. Later, we'll switch the RM modules to Modbus RTU so they can communicate with the OIT and we won't run EasyZone Configurator on the PC. Finally, a Modbus RTU network can have only one master, so at any one time, the OIT can communicate with the RM controllers or EasyWare 5000's online simulator can, but not both at the same time. To set up the EasyZone RM modules with the EasyZone Configurator software, we'll need to set them both to standard bus communications and set each to a unique address. The address setting is indicated by the numeric display. The default address is 1. Let's change the address for the module on the right to 2. Press the button under the display and hold it until the display brightens. Press the button again to increment the address setting. The protocol setting is shown by the indicators, S for standard bus and M for mod bus. To change the protocol, press the button and hold it until the letter P is displayed. Then press the button once to switch the protocol to standard bus. The display shows S for standard bus as we make the change. Also, the M indicator goes off and the S indicator comes on to show the module is set for the standard bus protocol. We follow the same steps for the other module to change its protocol setting to standard bus also. Now both modules are set to standard bus, and one is set to address 1, and the other is set to address 2. Launch EasyZone Configurator. Choose Configure a Device while communicating with it. Click Next, 
Select the COM port to which the EasyZone RM is connected and click Next. Choose the first RM control module. On the Setup page, choose the Communications 1 menu and set the baud rate. We'll use 38,400. Set the parity to None. Set Modbus word order to word low high. Set display units to the temperature scale you want and set non-volatile save to yes so that the parameter values you change via the OIT will be retained in the controller's non-volatile memory. We need to repeat this for the second RM module. To go back to the list of found devices, click back. Select the second controller and set it up the same way as the first. You may want to use EasyZone Configurator to set up other parameters in the controllers for your application, such as input type and set point, but for this example we're done with it, so close EasyZone Configurator. By the same method we used a few moments ago, change the protocol for each RM module back to Modbus. Now it's time to create a project for the Silver Series OIT. Launch EasyBuilder 5000. Depending on the version, it may open the last project you edited automatically or give you a choice of what to do. To create a new project, select that option or from the file menu choose New. Select your model. I'm using the 4-inch OIT and will create my screens in landscape mode. With the Use Template option set, click OK. The new project has two devices, the OIT called Local HMI and a Modbus RTU Master. Let's configure the Modbus RTU Master device by selecting it and clicking Settings. The Modbus RTU Master Communications Driver is selected for PLC type. EasyBuilder 5000 refers to any device OITs communicate with as a PLC because that's a common type of device used with them. For PLC interface, select RS4852W to configure the driver for a two-wire 485 connection to the RM controllers. Set PLC default station number to the Modbus network address of one of the RM controllers. The default setting 1 is good since we have a control module at address 1. Click Settings and for COM, Select the port on the OIT to which you connected the RM controller. In this tutorial, that's COM1. Set the baud rate. We set the RM modules to communicate at 38,400, so we must set the same here. Make sure data bits is 8, parity is none, and stop bits is 1. Click OK and OK. Note that there is only one Modbus RTU master in the device list even though we plan to communicate with two RM modules. That's because both RM modules are on the same network. We've configured this Modbus RTU master to operate the OIT's COM1 port so it will be the master on the network that we connected to that port. Click OK. Now we can start creating an interface. Let's use numeric displays to show the first two analog input values for each of the two RM modules on the OIT. Click the Numeric Display tool. Enter a description. Let's make this display the value of the first analog input in the RM at address 1. For PLC name, choose Modbus RTU Master. For address, choose 4x. Consulting the manual, you can find the address for the analog input 1's value is 360. You must add a 1 to the address indicated in the EasyZone manuals, so enter 361. On the Numeric Format tab, for Data Format, choose 32-bit float. Click OK and place the field. To create a label, select the Text tool, choose an appropriate color and enter the label text. Click OK and click to place the label. You can go through the same steps to create another field for the second analog input value but it's easier to copy and paste. Select the first field, press Control C to copy and Control V to paste. Put the copy where you want it then click the background to deselect it. Now double click the copy to edit its settings. Change the description and the address. 
Note that for each Modbus address in the manual, an offset is also included. That offset is used to determine the addresses for the other instances of the parameter in the same controller, in this case for the other analog inputs. The instance offset listed for analog input value is 90, so the address for the second analog input's value is 361 plus 90, 451, and the address for the third analog input's value would be 451 plus 90, 541, and so on. So for the second input, enter the address 451. That's 360 plus the offset of 90 plus 1 to use it with the OIT. We can also copy the label. Select it, copy, paste, drag, deselect, and double click to edit it. Make the change and click OK. To make a field that displays the value of the first analog input in the RM control module with address 2, Let's copy the first field again. Select it, copy, paste, drag, deselect and double click to edit it. Edit the description. In address, insert 2 and the pound symbol or hash mark in front of the Modbus address for the first analog input value 361. That tells the Modbus RTU master to get the data from the RM that is set to address 2 instead of the default address 1 which we saw in the setup. Make a label for the new display. To make a display for analog input 2 in the second RM, again let's start with a copy and edit it. If you copy the display with the address for input 2, all you need to do is edit the description and insert the station address and pound sign delimiter. And of course make a label. After compiling and downloading the project, the OIT displays the process values from the two RM modules. Let's review. To set up Modbus RTU communications directly between a Silver Series OIT and EasyZone RM controllers, you must connect the EasyZone RM controllers to the OIT via a 485 network, set each RM module to a unique address, with the RM set to standard bus communications, use EasyZone Configurator to set the Modbus RTU settings on the controller's Communications 1 menu, including the baud rate, parity, word order, display units, and non-volatile save preference. Switch the controllers to Modbus Protocol, create a new EasyBuilder 5000 project, configure the Modbus RTU device that appears by default with the correct COM port and Modbus communication settings, when addressing data in EasyZone devices, add 1 plus any instance offsets to the Modbus address found in the EasyZone user's manual. And remember, insert the RM module address and a pound sign or hash mark before the parameter address to get data from a controller other than the default. We hope you found this installment of Silver Series Secrets helpful. We'll explore additional topics in other installments.